today. And we are very happy to be able to make these rain sticks with you. So first of all, a little bit of a few things. We are wearing masks here at the Imagination Station because we are close to each other and we want to stay safe and protect ourselves. So that is very important to us here at the Imagination Station. But we are still happy to be able to bring this event to you guys safely. So we can get started on what you're going to need to do this experiment. So my name is Riley, first of all, and this is my friend Leica, and we're going to be the ones teaching you how to do this. So we have, if you are seeing my hands right now um, and my, our faces, you are probably on a phone or another tablet like that. But if you're on a desktop or a computer, you might be able to see my hands right now and all the stuff in front of us. Now, if you're only seeing our faces, that is totally fine. And we are going to show you both ways. But sometimes it can be better to do it on a desktop so that you can see everything. But let's get started. So the materials you're going to need for this are cardboard rolls. So we are going to be using two paper towel rolls because it's going to give us a longer rain stick. But you can use two toilet paper rolls, which would give you about this length. Or you can use four paper towel rolls or even four toilet paper rolls or even just one paper towel roll. It's really up to you. We just like longer ones because we feel they make better sound and they're a little bit easier to handle. So the next thing you're gonna need is tape. We like using duct tape because it's stronger and we feel like it holds better, but you can use clear packing tape if you want to. Next, you're gonna want a few note cards. We personally use three different note cards and I have a fourth one just to make sure that we have an extra just in case, but we're gonna use three note cards. Now, if you have construction paper or printer paper, that'll work too. You're just gonna have to cut your paper a little bit more to fit it to the size. Next thing you're gonna need is toothpicks. So we have a lot of toothpicks here, but we definitely aren't gonna use all of them. We're probably only going to use 25 to 50, and that's for our two paper towel rolls. So if you have less, Space to cover, like less cardboard, you're not going to need as many paper towels. The last thing we're going to need is small beads. So we're going to be using small beads, but if you want, you can use beans or rice. Just something small that'll work. You can also use larger beads like this, but we have found that the smaller the beads, the better the sound. And if you have any questions for us, if you're just now joining, please feel free to ask them in the chat and we will try to answer them as soon as possible. So now for the tools you're gonna need, you're gonna want a marker. This can be any color. We just like black because it shows up the best. And then, you're also, and then you're also gonna want scissors. Now, personally, we are gonna be using a corkscrew. Really, you can use anything sharp, but we like to use this because it has a nice grip and it's easy to do. This isn't necessary, but we found it helps a lot whenever you're doing it. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is either poke holes in your rolls using your corkscrew or you can just make marks and these are going to be where all of your toothpicks go so you're going to want a lot of toothpicks in this so we are going to put them about every pinky length and we're going to do that around four to five times around now it doesn't have to be perfect and uniform but that's just a good rule of thumb to go by so i'm going to do one towel and she's going to do the other so i am going to just poke a small indentation and that's where we're going to poke them through and she is going to take her black marker and make marks on where she's going to put them through. Like this. So you might not want to make them close to the top and bottom of the paper towel rolls because that's where your tape and note cards are going to go. So you're not going to be able to put toothpicks there. So you want to do them more in the middle about maybe a thumb under. So right now we're just making our indentations. Um, if you're using something sharp to go through to make your holes, to mark your holes, you don't necessarily have to poke all the way through. I'm just using it as a place to know where I'm going to go later. And again, if you're just recently joining us, please leave your questions in the chat and we will try to answer them as soon as possible. Just like this, if you can see that. So again, my name is Riley and this is Leica and we are making rain sticks here at the Imagination Station today. 
if you guys want to follow along, right now we are poking holes and marking where holes should go in our cardboard tubes. Again, you can use a marker for this or you can use something sharp like I am. Like, do you feel like you have enough marks? I think I do, yeah. I agree. And I think I am good too. So we are going to move on to the next step. If you guys aren't quite there yet, that's totally okay. But you can keep marking as we move on and just do the step when you're ready. So for this next step, we are going to tape these. We are going to tape the end caps first, one end cap first, and then we're going to tape this on. So for an end cap, what you're going to want to do is take your note card and your one of your um, paper towel rolls and you're going to put it on like this. So you can kind of see on the circle, I'll rotate it, and I'm going to mark the edges. So like, can you hold this for me? So I'm going to mark it right here, right here, on, right where it touches on two different sides. So I'm going to put it on the table and do this. So I'm going to make my first mark. And as you can see, I now have two marks like this. So to cut it, what you're gonna wanna do is cut it so that it's with the line, but you wanna leave a small space in the middle. So as you can see, there's still space in the middle, so this flap doesn't fall off. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, and I want the holes to kind of be in the same area. So they both are like that. Next thing you're going to want to do is take this and put it on your thing. So this is going to be an end cap, so make sure it covers all of this. And like it, can you hand me a piece of duct tape? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tape these sides down to make sure. So I'm going to tape it here and here, and then I'm going to tape these two down too to make sure no beads get out. Here you go. So like this hand me pieces of tape, and I'm just putting the end caps on. And again, we already poked the holes in our cardboard or marked where our holes are going to go. And right now we're putting one end cap on. And I'm going to need one more and then we should be good. Actually, can I get one more? Mm -hmm. It is a lot easier if you have a partner to help you do this. So we highly, highly, highly recommend having a parent help you. Thank you. All right, awesome. So the next step is we are gonna wanna tape these two together. So to do that, Leika is going to, we are gonna put one roll wrap of tape around the middle where they connect right here right here and then we are going to put a note card around it and then more tape so i'm going to hold them and try to line them up the best i can and Leika is going to wrap the tape around and now whenever we're taping them you can kind of see why we said not to make them towards the ends because it's kind of covering it so it might not work as well so like it's just going to cut it off I'm going to make sure the tape is on nice and tight and then we're going to wrap a note card around so the note card doesn't go all the way but the note card does allow for a grip where there's going to be no toothpicks and it also keeps it a little bit sturdier. One more wrap and then we'll be good. Please cut that glue. Yep. There we go. So now we are going to add the toothpicks in. So I'm going to do this side and like it's going to do this side. So let me get some toothpicks out for us and we're going to start poking. So again, we marked the holes in our cardboard tubes first. Then we put one end cap on. Then we taped our tubes together. You don't have to do that if you don't have multiple tubes. And now we are putting our toothpicks in. If you have any questions, please, please, please let us know in the chat and we will be happy to answer them. Now, parents at home,
if your child is younger, you may want to help them with the toothpick part because we really don't want anyone to get hurt or have any boo-boos after this. Now, sometimes your toothpick may break or snap at the top like this, and that is totally okay. If it does, you can just flip it over, or if both sides are broken, you can always just get a new toothpick. And make sure not to try to poke any holes through the duct tape or note card. Yep, you can see I just broke one there. Make sure not to poke any holes or stuff through the note cards or duct tape because that's where your grip is going to be, and you really don't want to have any holes. And if you have extra trouble poking it through, you can always use your corkscrew or something sharp with a sharp tip and poke it, re-poke the holes. So while we're poking our holes, I'll tell you guys a little bit about the Imagination Station. So the Imagination Station is a children's science center here in Lafayette, Indiana. And we have a lot of totally fun and awesome exhibits here. So we have a lot of animals as well. We have two fire belly toads, two ball pythons, a bearded dragon named Apollo, and we have two different types of turtles. So one of them is an African side neck turtle, and the other is a painted turtle. We love all of our animals very much here, and we and the animals have both been missing the people a lot. The turtles are missing their attention, and Apollo's wondering why he's not seeing so many faces of his friends recently. Again, I'm having some trouble poking through, so I'm going to use my corkscrew and mark a little couple holes for me to go through. And the more toothpicks you add, the better the sound is going to be and the better it's going to work. So we like to add lots of toothpicks. So again, we are just putting our toothpicks through so that we have our rain stick. Now parents at home, as you're doing this, if your child is younger, you might want to consider cutting the ends of your toothpicks off. So I'm going to do that on this one right here. You just get it close. I like to do it towards the bottom of the scissors because I just feel like I get a better grip. And just snip and push it in more so it's not as sharp and it's a little bit shorter so it's harder to hurt yourself. And if you feel like the things are the toothpicks are falling out when you do that, you can put a couple layers of your packing tape or your duct tape around it so that the toothpicks stay in place. Okay, why don't you switch me sides? So while we're doing this, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about our animals. So we, like I mentioned earlier, we have quite a few animals here at the Imagination Station, and we love all of them very much. They're all very close to our hearts. We have a bearded dragon, and his name is an Apollo. He's a bit young, so we like to call him our moody teenager because even though he loves hanging out with all of us and being able to see all the people, sometimes he can get a little grumpy and just be a little feisty. So he is our moody teenager here at the Imagination Station. We also have our turtles. Their names are April and Mikey. And we also have our fire belly toads. Their names are Scorch and Torch, very fitting. 
And then our two ball pythons, one is named Chess, and the other is named Snakey. So if you are wondering who is answering any questions while we are doing this in the chat, we have another worker over there, Matthew, who is also wearing a mask, who is answering all the questions for us while we work very hard on your rain sticks. We want to thank you guys all so much for coming and doing this with us today. We have, we really enjoy being able to do this for the community and the whole point of the Imagination Station is to bring science and other fun to kids. So we are really happy to be able to run these rain sticks in our vortex last week. All right, I think we have a good amount of toothpicks. So as you can see, they're all the way around. And some of the black spots don't have them, that's totally fine. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to poke in certain spots, so we just don't put them there. So I'm gonna put some stuff out of the way so that we have a little bit more room. All right, so the next step is to add your beads. Like I said earlier, we're using these small beads. They're small and colorful and they're a lot of fun. And because these beads are so small, we don't really have to worry about many spilling, but if you're using something bigger or something that might not fit as well, you might want to add a funnel to help you pour them in. So we're gonna pour these beads in and we are going to add about one to two tablespoons for ours, but if you're using something smaller, you might not wanna use as many beads. So I ended up just adding the whole container and you can already start to hear some of the sounds now. So now we are going to add our other cap. So as I'm looking at this, I'm seeing we have one toothpick that's pretty close to the top and I'm a little worried that that might get in the way of our note cards and our tape, so I'm just gonna pull that out. If you feel like you have any, two, any toothpicks that are too close to the top, you can just pull them out, set them to the side, and start working. So we are gonna repeat the process that we did earlier, but instead of flipping it upside down to mark the lines, I'm gonna keep it like this because I really don't want the beads to spill everywhere. So Laika, would you mind holding down the yeah. top? So I have one line. Go to the other side, make my line. And now I'm gonna hold this. Lika, do you mind cutting it for me? Sure. So yes, I did add a good amount of beads to this and I just wanna make sure that you guys can all hear the sound really well. Again, if you have any questions about what we were doing, please, please, please let us know in the chat. We are happy to answer them and we are all very thankful that you are here doing this with us today. <laughs> yep, looks perfect. So again, I'm gonna put it on so that the centerpiece is covering it. And I'm gonna fold these sides down first and tape them in place. So right now we don't really have any gaps in our, in our lid, but if you feel like you do, you can always just put down another layer of tape um, over those gaps to make sure no beads come out. So now our rain stick is built and I'm gonna demonstrate how to use it. So this middle part makes for a really nice grip. So I'm going to flip my hand over so my thumb is down and grab it in the middle and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna put one hand on the, other, on the bottom side to support and I'm gonna slowly tilt and you can hear the rain. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna flip it down. So that's our rain stick. And I'm gonna let my friend like it here tell you about how it works. Of course, yeah. So each time a bead um, hits a toothpick in the middle, in the middle, the toothpick, um, so a click is created, right? You can hear the clicking sound. So then the toothpick, each toothpick will bring this, 
bring the click back up to across to the cardboard tubing. And then the cardboard tubing is, is going to um, convey it in the form of a vibration. And then the vibration creates the sound that we hear, the sound that sounds like rain. And so this, this process is very similar to how the sound, a soundboard in a piano works. And so these clicks happen at random times, just as how when raindrops fall on to the roof of like a house or building, um, the sounds that they create are happen randomly, happen at random times. So a similar way. And this sound, the sound is called white noise. And it's also um, similar to the sounds that AM radios make when they're not tuned to a station. So you, you all can enjoy just hearing the sound of, your, of the rain that your rain sticks are making. And I'll tell you a little bit about the history of these rain sticks. So musical rain stick instruments like these, musical instruments were made, have been made all over the world. But the legend, it's believed that in Chile, Chile was the first place where these rain stick instruments were made. And it's believed that um, they were first made out of cactus branches and cactus spines. So the cactus, the cacti were like were in the form of tubes like these, and then they were filled with pebbles or dried rice or beans. But really, um, musical rain stick instruments like these have been made all over the world. And the legends say that in places like South America and Australia, rain sticks like these were made to be used in traditional ceremonies to call forth rain, to invite rain to come, because they sound like rain. So there you go. There you have a little bit of the history of the instrument you just created. Yeah, so these are our <laughs> rain sticks. Thank you so much, Leica. That was great. And you can keep trying this and making the noise. If you have any questions, again, please leave in the chat. And remember, you just want to tilt it slowly to make your rain noise. If you have any feedback, please email the Imagination Station or send us a message. We really want to know what you guys thought. And we were really happy to be able to provide this for you today. Thank you guys so much. We all hope you have a nice night. Have a nice day. Thank you guys.